I just got this new game. Warhammer 40k Dawn of War. Turn down my water. Okay, I've never played this game, but my dad says it's awesome, like, awesome, awesome. So, start mission. Tutorial, tutorial. Welcome to the Dawn of War tutorial. Huh. By listening to me and reading the text that appears in this message box, you will learn how to play a skirmish game. The mouse is your primary method of surveying the battle, selecting okay. units and structures, and issuing orders. The mouse controls the camera. The camera represents your current view of the battlefield. To pan the camera, simply move the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. Do this now. To rotate the camera to gain a different view of the battle, press the Alt key and move your mouse. Do this now. Ooh, that's cool. You can zoom in on something to see it up close by spinning the mouse wheel forward. Do this now. To return the camera to the game's default view, press the backspace key on your keyboard. Uh, Do this now. Backspace. Excellent! You've returned the camera to its default playing view. By panning, rotating, and zooming the camera in and out, you can get whatever view of the battlefield you wish. Okay. The diamond-shaped display in the lower left-hand corner of your screen is your mini-map. You can use the mini-map to see where your units and structures are located, to quickly scan the battlefield, to issue quick orders, and so on. The mini-map displays the locations of all strategic points on the battlefield, as well as other items of strategic importance. Fog of war prevents you from seeing things where you do not have a presence. If you move units into an area, the fog of war will be lifted. Now we will bring up the objective menu. The objective menu provides you with a list of all the primary and secondary objectives assigned to you by the game. Mouse over the objectives to get the description of each. Uh, close the objective thing. Um. Excellent. Anytime you want to refer to the objectives menu, click on the OBJ button on the upper menu bar. To select a unit or structure, simply click on it with the left mouse button. Go to your base and select the stronghold. Congratulations! You have just learned how to select units and structures in the game. Select your stronghold and look for the Scout Marine Squad icon located in the lower right corner of the screen. Click this button now. Take note of the small bar that is gradually filling up. This progress bar gives you an indication of how close something is to being ready. Excellent. Reporting for duty. You now have Scout Marine Squad. Cool. Strategic points are located in areas of high strategic value on the battlefield. Capturing okay. and controlling the strategic points on the battlefield is how you increase your requisition resource. Order the Scout Marine Squad to capture a strategic point by right-clicking on the point. Okay. Right-click. I want to run right there. Wait, is that how you do it? Objective added. Space Marine Headquarter Building Process. Wait. Uh. Uh, right click on this point. Um. Scouts okay. ready. And then. Yes, my lord. Okay, sweet. That's awesome. I'm gonna watch these guys. Left click on the location. Scout is charged. Okay. Do not move the captain's squad away. It's just your ticket. 
until the silver cross bar is full of gold. Okay. Otherwise, you will not take control of this strategic point. Okay. That's interesting. Servitors are always available from the stronghold. Sweet. Okay. Now, what do you? What are the well, servitors? Servitors are the Space Marines builder unit. Any time you wish to build a new structure, you must use a servitor. Select the servitor and build a list yes. post on the captured strategic point. Wait. So select yes, them. most beneficent one. Uh, listening post. The listening post fortifies your hold of a strategic point, increasing your requisition rate at the same time. Oh, that's awesome. It's super close to being excellent. The point is now protected from enemy retaliation. Okay, you should continue to build listening posts on all your captured strategic points. Some structures, vehicles, and research require power to function. Building a plasma generator will supply you with the power you need to keep your force going. Select your servitor and build a plasma generator. Yes, build building plasma generator on in a control zone. Build the more plasma generators you have, the faster you will build up the power resource. Turn it down and ram turn it play Warhammer. Plasma generators will continue to produce power at a constant rate. <gasps> Note that there is a limit to how many plasma generators can be built no, for strong. Okay. Notice the white ring that appears around some of your structures when you are deciding where to build. This is the control zone. Most structures can only be constructed within the control zone, while others, like listening posts, can be built at other locations. When you are trying to place a new structure, its color changes from red to green as you move it around. A green color indicates that the structure can be placed at that location so that building will begin. Oh, okay. Select your servitor and build a chapel barracks structure. Here to serve. Chapel barracks. Building team 721 initiated. I want to get another servitor. The Chapel Barracks is a structure where you can build more advanced Space Marine infantry units. Space Marine Squad. These elite warriors will form the core of your military force. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh. Okay. Is he gonna speak to me? 
Marine Space Squad, your voice. Space Marine Squads are your all-purpose fighting force. They are powerful and resilient and, with research, can be upgraded to counter almost any threat. They can also capture strategic points. Reinforcing is the act of calling in additional troops to bring your squad to maximum combat effectiveness. Select a Space Marine squad. Space. Click the Reinforce we Squad the button to add one new unit to your squad. You can reinforce during battle in the event that a brother Space Marine falls to the enemy. You can click the Reinforce Squad button multiple times to bring the squad to full strength. Direct Congratulations! Destiny. You have reinforced your Space Marine squad. Okay, cool, cool. All units and vehicles have a health rating. Health is represented by the small green bar underneath each squad or vehicle. Remember, a squad takes damage as a whole. When enough damage has been inflicted on the squad, a unit will die. If you lose any units during a fight, you can reinforce to bring your squad back to full strength. Okay. Make sure you watch the strength of your squad in battle. Reinforce often to make sure your squads are as effective as possible. Remember that when a unit with a heavy weapon dies, you lose that weapon from the squad. You will need to upgrade the squad to get the heavy weapon back. Select the chapel barracks and build a force commander. The force commander acts as a hero for your army. The force commander is a veteran of thousands of battles and his combat prowess is unrivaled. He will lead your force to victory. I command in the name of the Emperor. Commander has arrived. The Force Commander cannot capture points, but is a skilled warrior who can be upgraded with powerful abilities. The Space Marine's other commander unit will become available as you build more facilities and unlock okay. more research. Select your Force Commander and click the Walk Attach softly button. Now, carry a big select gun. the Space Marine squad. Back, way back. Uh, Force Commander. Attach. Left click on your squad to attack. Attach the select. For Terra! What? Your enemy computer captured a critical. Wait, what? Okay, click on. Direct us to the enemy. Wait, click on. The him. Emperor protects. Attach. Left click one of your squads to attach the Take This space command. marine squad is greatly enhanced by the addition of the Force Commander that he can also fight effectively on his own. To detach the leader from this squad, simply select the squad, then click the Detach icon. It is located in the same place as the Attach icon. Very good. You are mastering advanced concepts that will help you to annihilate your enemies. Select a squad and take note of the small blue bar just under the squad's health bar. The Emperor this blue protects. bar represents the morale of your squad. Morale represents the effectiveness of your units in battle. Think of it as a combination of mental focus, courage, and the willingness to fight. Various weapons in the game inflict morale damage as well as health damage. When your squad takes morale damage, the small blue bar will decrease, just like the health bar does. When a squad's morale becomes too low, the squad will break. A broken squad has lost the will to fight, and its combat effectiveness is drastically reduced. You do not lose control of broken squads. It is your choice whether to leave them in battle or retreat to gather strength. Also, certain units have abilities that can increase the morale of a squad. Morale can be an effective tool against your enemies. By destroying your enemy's morale, you cause them to lose combat effectiveness, making them much easier to kill. In this way, a small but properly armed squad can destroy an enemy force of superior numbers. Remember, tactics and strategy can turn the tide of almost any battle. Make sure you use this knowledge to achieve victory on the battlefield. Select your servitor and build an armory. Now. Yes, most beneficent one. Armory. Um, I'm the voter, right? Build a team you must build an armory in order to access weapon upgrades. 
Squads, Squads can be equipped oh, with a variety of weaponry, allowing you to prepare them against different enemy types. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah. Select your Space Marine squad. And While the enemies of the Emperor still draw breath, there can be no squad peace. Members. Notice a heavy bolter appears in one of your squad members' hands. This procedure can be performed with any of the available weapon upgrades. Initially, you can only upgrade two units of your total squad with heavy weapons. By doing further research at the armory, you can unlock the capability to upgrade more. Excellent! You have upgraded your Space Marine squad. You can upgrade your squads anywhere on the battlefield to weapons that are well suited to counter your enemy. Huh. Select the stronghold and click the monastery upgrade icon. We must upgrade the stronghold to a monastery to gain access to squad leaders and other powerful research options and structures. Leaders are highly skilled warriors that can be added to some space marine squads. You will need strong leaders if you are to defeat your enemies. Okay. That's this game seems it will be obviously the strategy game. It looks awesome, like amazing. About halfway done. Not much. Your enemy can capture a relic. Okay, Force Commander, 65%, interesting, it's a, it's a very str strategic game, okay, okay. critical location, I'm just, Get all the critical location. The monastery is complete. You can now add yes, sergeants sure. to some of your space marine squads. Objective as a sergeant to your space. Beware the alien. What is your will? Sergeants are valiant leaders that improve the combat ability and morale of the squad they are part of. Okay. They will inspire your marines to greater feats of heroism. That's super interesting. Shall your be a glorious one for the Note Imperium. that your sergeants are part of the squad and cannot leave it. Select your chapel barracks and build another Space Marine squad. it right there sort of like tutorial episode the rest episodes if I make more which I probably will because this game super fun will be uh there won't be a tutorial that's what I'm saying so like and subscribe but